Chinese reaction images are insane. From panda heads to obscure faces with no discernible context, it just goes to show how weird other countries can be online. What does it? The interest in Chinese reaction images has long been documented, as the phenomenon has stayed strong and visually homogenous for many years. Apologies for the awful pronunciation, but they're known as biaqing or biaqingbao, basically just meaning facial expressions. But this can also refer to emoticons or emojis. A black and white realistic face is usually superimposed onto a badly drawn body, giving it the ability to convey emotion in a surreal yet effective manner. They've been going solid for over a decade, mainly popping up in Chinese-centric social media like Weibo. However, in 2023, fresh interest would be encouraged toward these pictures thanks to Humbug here, who captioned the image of a Biaoqing with the words, Chinese reaction images are insane, like what context do you even use this in? This quickly sparked comparisons to the insanity of Western reaction images, as people noticed it was possible to apply the exact same question to out of context wojaks. This truly shines a spotlight on how strange American reaction images are when viewed without prior cultural knowledge, as well as demonstrates how things that seem weird at first are actually quite familiar once viewed from another perspective. It makes sense that different cultures would create their own versions of different memes, and considering the absurd and chaotic nature of the internet, why wouldn't China's memes evolve to be quite weird also? It's so easy to condemn other creations as totally different at first glance, but upon further inspection or exposure through art, the fact that humans are extremely similar is quickly revealed, especially when it comes to humour. Of course, this prevalence of Biaoqing and why they've been adapted so thoroughly has led to plenty of academic research, including an article titled Exploring Local Meaning Making Resources, a case study of a popular Chinese internet meme, Biaoqing Bao. The authors assert one reason that Rage Comics were so successfully and productively localized in China was that they provided a socially acceptable means for emotional expression in a society where the expression of extreme emotions is considered face-threatening and a violation of cultural norms. Despite the evolution of Biaoqing from regular Rage Comics, they have also stayed quite homogenous due to the lack of Western influences caused by the Great Firewall blocking foreign interference in China. This has slowed their evolution dramatically, to the point where there are some aesthetic changes but the structural format stays more or less the same. That being said, the fact that the blurrier and more lo-fi pixelated reposts are often viewed as more authentic can be paralleled with the spread of low-resolution memes in Western areas. Effectively, Chinese reaction images, aka Biaoqing, represent a unique cultural identifier of Chinese digital spaces, and yet upon closer inspection bear quite a solid reflection of international memes and the manner in which they are used to create meaning despite their initially absurd appearance. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs> Or else.